In this video, you are going to learn how to make any kind of gun with just one simple script. I used this script in my previous video and why not make a tutorial? But before we start, I just want to say if you have any questions about the code, just write a comment and I'll answer you. And by the way, you can find all the code in the description. So let's jump right into Visual Studio, delete all of that stuff and instead define some variables. Actually, we will need quite a lot because we also want to have a lot of control over our gun. We need to define the damage of our gun, the fire rate or time between shooting, the spread, range, reload time and time between shots if you want to shoot multiple bullets with one click. Now the magazine size, bullets per tap, a bool if you are allowed to hold down the button and two private integers for the bullets left in your magazine and the bullets shot. Now just a few more bools and references to your camera, attack point, raycast and layer mask. And that's it. So now you want to make a function for your input and in there set your shooting bool equals to your left mouse button input, once if you hold the mouse button down and once if you tap it. And you want to check if you are allowed to hold down the button and if not you want to take the tap input instead. Next you want to check if you tap the reload key, in my case this is R and if your bullets left are less than your magazine size, because it wouldn't make sense to reload if your magazine is full and also check if you aren't already reloading. And then of course make a reload function. Now you want to define when to shoot and that would be when you are ready to shoot and shooting, which basically means you are giving the input to shoot and you aren't reloading and yeah, you definitely need to have some bullets left. Now make a shoot function and some obvious statements like you're not ready to shoot when you're already shooting and also you want to count down your bullets. Then make a reset shot function and set ready to shoot to true. And now you want to use the invoke method. And now you want to use the invoke method, which lets you call a function with a bit of delay. In this case, this would be our time between shooting. Now let's do the actual shot using a raycast. If you don't know what raycasts are, they're basically invisible rays which you shoot out and you just have to set the start position of the ray, which would be our camera position, then the direction, which is forward, obviously, then where you want to store the information of the ray, the range and which layers are affected. Then you can write debug.log and the name of the object the ray hit. You don't have to do that by the way, it's just to check if everything works. And now if your ray hits an object with the tag enemy, you want to get the component of the enemy and damage it. If you don't understand this step, no problem, just ask in the comments. So if you now want to add some spread, you just need to make an x and y variable and set it equal to random.range and then your spread. This function will just return a random value depending on how high your spread is. And by the way, if you want higher spread while your character is running, you could just say for example, while you're holding down V, A, S or D, your spread should increase. Now the reloading is pretty easy, just set reloading to true and then you want to invoke the reload finish function using the reload time as delay. Make a reload finish function, set your bullets left to your magazine size and reloading to false again. Of course also make sure to call your input function the whole time. So right now if you tap your mouse button you will shoot one bullet. But maybe you want to shoot 5 or even 100 bullets at once and to do so you need to repeat your shoot function as many times as your bullets per tap. So you want to write invoke shoot and then the time between shots as your delay if your bullets shot and your bullets left are greater than 0 and also count down your bullets shot. And your bullets shot should be set equal to your bullets per tap every time you call the shoot function. 
Now in Void Awake or Start, it doesn't really matter, you want to set your bullets left to your magazine size, that you don't have to reload at the start of the game, and also ready to shoot to true. So now let's add some camera shake, but if you want to do this you will need to watch Bracky's video about camera shake first. You can find it in the description and you just want to attach his script to your camera. If you don't know Bracky's, he is... <laughs> just kidding. Now you can just call the shake function using your own variables. And I'm also going to use a muzzle flash and bullet hole graphic, so it looks more realistic. And you've already guessed it, the link to this free asset is of course in the description. Now you just need to instantiate your bullet hole graphic at the point where you ray hit and the muzzle flash at your attack point. So you nearly did it. To display the bullet amount I would recommend you downloading TextMesh Pro and then just make a text variable and set the text equal to your bullet's left slash magazine size. Now jump into Unity and don't get confused by all of my stuff here, there's not much to do actually, just make a gun object, drag it into your character's camera so that it follows it around and if you want to use a 3D gun model, drag it in there too. And yeah, the one I used is in the description. Next assign your gun script to your gun and I'll make this just a bit bigger. I'm going to make a pretty normal machine gun. You can follow along or just try out something for yourself. But make sure to assign your camera and graphics. For the attack point just make an empty game object and put it wherever you want your muzzle flash to appear. Normally that would be at the tip of your gun, but feel free to drag it right on your character's face, I don't care. And for the text just create a canvas and in there your text mesh pro text. Use whatever size, font and position you like and drag the text into your text variable. And now thank you so much for watching. If you aren't subscribed yet, make sure to do that, leave a like, comment if you have any questions and yeah in the background I'm just showing you how to make a shotgun or a gun using the classical burst mode. Have a nice day and keep coding. Let's go.